Hi there, and welcome to a basic introduction to mechanical ventilation. This is chapter 8.2, Ventilating ARDS, Ventilator Associated Lung Injury. One of the most serious consequences of positive pressure ventilation is ventilator-induced lung injury. Experiments and experience have shown that stress inflicted by mechanical ventilation can injure normal lungs and delay healing in injured ones. Furthermore, this injury can also cause systemic inflammation due to release of inflammatory mediators from the injured lung. This injury can occur from alveoli that have been overstretched, shearing tissue at the interface between open and collapsed alveoli, and high pressure air slamming away at unyielding airways. Over distension opens airways but causes tearing and rupture much as you would expect to see when you're trying to blow up a balloon. These tears start at the microscopic level to cause inflammation but can eventually be large enough to let air leak out to cause pneumothoraxes and pneumomediastinum. Furthermore, repeated opening and closing alveoli during inspiration and expiration can cause a shear injury. The alveoli is injured further if it is repeatedly opened and closed. This closing is caused by compression from other lung segments and a loss of surfactant. Why is surfactant important? Well, think of the alveoli as a large interface between an air and liquid environment. Because of the cohesive forces, water molecules will try to form the smallest possible area. This is why raindrops are spheres. In the alveoli, all the water molecules in the alveoli cells at the air fluid interface are trying to draw themselves together. This will result in the collapse of the alveoli. Surfactants reduce surface tension. When surface tension decreases, then the forces pulling the alveoli also decrease. This allows the alveoli to stay open even if the airway pressures are low. Put it another way, alveoli need high pressures to open and stay open because of their surface tension. Surfactants reduce surface tension, so the pressure does not need to be as high. Another source of injury is the shearing of collapsed alveoli as their more compliant neighbors open up or expand, tearing away from them. The most important fundamental concept I want you to take home, though, is that the lung is not operating with the same volumes as normal. Consolidated areas and atelectasis reduce the total lung volume available to accept a normal tidal volume. The lung that is working is smaller and can only accommodate a normal tidal volume at the cost of higher airway pressures and over distension.